I want to start this video with a simple question. What are you learning programming for? Do you learn it because you're just interested and you want to become a developer as a hobby? Or do you want to find a job in industry? Maybe you're looking for a way to become self-employed with programming and then do it with a certain profit interest? So do you want to become a hobby developer or do you want to become a professional developer? That's my question. If you can answer this question right off the bat, write us your answer directly in the comments and also tell us what exactly you want to do in industry, for example, or what interests you as a hobby. That would be of great interest to me and probably many other community members as well. If your answer is that you want to gain a foothold in industry as a developer or you also want to be a freelance programmer and earn your money with it, then in this video I would like to draw your attention to a misconception that very many programmers have. Many programmers just can't get out of the learning mindset and now you're going to ask yourself, wait a minute, shouldn't you keep learning? And yes, that's right, but you learn a lot in practice. The problem that a lot of programmers really have is that they really want to constantly learn new theoretical things but never put them into practice and then jump from one topic to the next, of course knowing the theory everywhere, which is also good, but often have a hard time implementing it. If you want to gain a foothold in the industry, it is incredibly important that you build up a portfolio with which you can later apply to a potential employer. It is simply not enough to be able to claim that one knows everything in theory. You have to be able to prove the whole thing and for that you implement projects and build up a portfolio of your own projects, collect them, have a GitHub account where you can also present the whole thing and that is ultimately what helps you to get a job. Not your theoretical knowledge but what you have done in practice. It is of course commendable and incredibly important that you keep trying to delve into new areas and try to get to know them. But before you skip to the next topic, do yourself a favor and somehow apply what you have learned in a practical project. Because if you don't do that, you're kind of learning the whole thing for nothing. For example, think about the most famous programmers and why they are actually known. For example, Bill Gates. Why is he known? Well. He founded Microsoft and is therefore jointly responsible for Windows, one of the most widely used operating systems. Or Linus Torvalds, why is he famous? He developed the Linux kernel and also GIT. Or an example for the gamers, why is Marcus Persson aka Notch known? It's simple, he created Minecraft, a video game that has brought joy to millions of people. There are countless other examples here and why are these people well known? Clearly, it is not because of their theoretical knowledge, but because they have implemented good things in practice. In my opinion, you should also use this as a guide if you want to gain a foothold in the industry. Of course, I don't want to down talk theoretical learning. There are many people who just want to learn this as a hobby and have a keen interest in these different concepts. But if you want to go into industry, then you need to get into practice. Regardless of whether you want to become a hobby programmer or want to do this professionally, we from JSparrow have the perfect tool to help you learn everything about Java best practice. With our 89 live markers, you can learn the best way to write your code while you are writing it. That means that you can combine theory and practice and therefore learn and gain experience all at the same time. You already practiced implementing your knowledge but something just doesn't work the way you want to? Maybe you've been searching for a solution to fix your project but it is more tricky than you have anticipated? JSparrow is your tool when it comes to automatic Java refactoring. It is not only helping you find bugs and reduce code smells, but also to improve security and make your code lighter. You can get yourself a free trial for JSparrow because we want to give you a taste of its power. We also have a well-described documentation area and if you have any specific questions, you can always write us. For that, check the link in the video description. If you don't want to miss any more videos, then subscribe to this channel and of course, I would be very happy if you subscribe or give a thumbs up under this video. With that in mind, we will see each other in the next video and with that I say goodbye.